Today I'm 3D printing a rocket launcher for a radio controlled airplane. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video will I attempt to fire this uh, firework rocket from a RC plane. I tried doing this in uh, 2014 but it failed because uh, I failed to light the fuse properly. And you may be able to see right here that it, the fuse has been burned halfway through and that was from my last attempt. So I tried to light the fuse right here in the middle and it has a lot of insulation to uh, prevent that. I'm going to have to break it off because this is much easier to contain inside the plane. So the first step will be to gather some measurements of the rocket and then replicate it inside of Fusion 360. There we go. Done. So the first version didn't really work out. I hadn't accounted for the space that the screws would take up and therefore everything was binding. Version 2 worked much better. Alright, so at this point the mechanism is working, it can fold out like this. The next step will be to build a plane around this mechanism. As you can see, the plane is now done, and uh, everything is working. <coughs> Works, and it's it's plenty powerful. Like I can, if I put the plane like this and give it full throttle. <coughs> the ignition system works this way. I have this servo that can turn and turn on the switch, and then that will uh, complete a circuit that mills a small wire. I modified the rockets quite a bit. I added some fins and some nose weight. This is all to put the sense of gravity in front of the sense of pressure. The wires are wrapped around a few match heads and it's all placed at the very tip of the fuse. So now all that's left to do is to load in the rocket and give it a test flight. The first flight was just a test to see if the plane worked. 
and to my surprise, it was really table heavy. I'm now attaching the rocket to the ignition system. The rocket has now been loaded and it's time to test out the plane. I tried to ignite the rocket but nothing happened. Although you could see that the fold out mechanism was working. It turns out that the switch I was using didn't work. There was a loose connection inside. Not a problem, let's just put in a new switch. But then this happened. Mm, not a problem either, let's just fix it and try again. After a quick hot glue treatment, the plane was ready to fly again, but not for very long. The ESC decided to burn out and this is what happened. After another hot glue treatment, the plane was ready to fly again, but not for more than about two seconds before it came crashing down again. All right. There were just a bit too many issues with the first plane and therefore I decided to make a new one. It uses the same uh, missile launching mechanism but it has a different switch. It still uses a servo but it's, it's like this toggle switch instead. And uh, that works a lot better. And instead of one motor, this one has two motors. Uh, the issue with only having one motor is that it creates a huge torque on the plane and uh, when you have two, that cancels, cancels out, and uh, this should be perfect. First flight and first crash of the new plane, what was I thinking? While the plane is being repaired, let's talk about the ignition system. It's actually surprisingly tricky to ignite a piece of firework uh, remotely, and especially these kinds of rockets, because their fuses, they are better protected. I tried to use this lighter, but the button was too hard to press down for my servos. And it's also a pretty unreliable method. The next thing I tried was this arc generator. It steps up 5 volts to about 10,000 volts. But the power is so small that it won't ignite anything. Here you see the final design of the rocket. I added this connector to make it easier to connect the rocket to the plane. And it actually worked really well. The plane flew great, but the rocket didn't fire. And of course when I had to do the landing, the plane stalled and it crashed. There are just so many individual components that could go wrong. So the chance of it working all at once seems to be pretty small. It also seems like I should work on my piloting skills. So this is the plane after the crash and basically every component is completely trashed. This project can seem like a big fail, but I actually say that it's a partial success. In the end, I got every component to work as they were intended. The igniter ignited the matches, but it wasn't able to ignite the fuse. The fold out mechanism worked perfectly throughout the whole project and both planes actually flew really well in the end. The rockets have just been sitting in my workshop for about two years, so the fuse may have collected a bit of moisture and therefore it won't ignite. I'll be putting this project on hold for now, I will come back to it and I will get it to work, but for now I'm gonna have to put it aside. I have a lot of other projects that I really need to get done, like my CNC router and the delivery drone. So if you've stuck around to the end of the video, then I would like to say thank you very much for watching and happy new years.